Welcome back to Projects on Board. It's Warren here, and today we are kicking off in a bit of a rut. So I finished up last episode upstairs, just in probably the worst shape I've been in a very long time. We stink, we're very sad, we're very, very nervous and depressed. It's not looking good, I'm not going to lie to you. We're, uh, we're kind of at rock bottom here. To put it quite plain and simple. I think the best way to do this is just to try and get out. We've got no ammo left, so we can't do anything with that. We're probably at rock bottom in terms of exhaustion and all the rest, and yeah, things just aren't going well. This was such a such an ambitious project from the start. I didn't think it would come to this, if I'm completely honest. I don't think we'd be dragging our anchors out of here, and... Ah, crust. This could be the end of it all, ladies and gents. I'm just, just putting the feelers out there right now. I'm not confident in this at all. All right, we've got one unbroken window over here. Uh, is it you? Yes, thank God for that. Okay, where's our nearest stop point? Should probably sneak this, shouldn't we? Okay, we might actually be okay. We're extremely tired. There's still not a lot of hope, but this could work. This could work. Our exhaustion feels like it's going up. Our depression's going down. And we're golden. Look at that. All right, we need to get washed. That is job number one. We need to fix our nervous wreck. Don't think I've got any smokes. Wonder if we can use anything to make a sandwich. That help us out of touch, will not it? See what we can do. Oh, at least we made it home, though. That's, that is a great sign. From chips. We, we can make a chip burger. With as many chips as we can possibly get. It'll help our boredom and happiness slightly. And it'll get us well fed, which will keep us alive throughout the night. Um... I guess we could get up and have a bath in the morning. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm going to get some sleep. I'll see you on the other side. Not going to lie. Yesterday is probably the first day in a very long time that I felt that we could actually die. I'm so very glad we're alive. I'm not going to lie. Uh, cold is going up. We're kind of getting worse and worse as the minutes go on. But we're all good. All right, we're washed. We're clean. We're kind of ready to go. All right, can we just get up and... Get ready, otherwise we're going to die of hypothermia. <laughs> Imagine all of that just to go down from a bath. Ridiculous, but so worth it. Let's get him dressed. We've made a super happy sandwich, which should help us out. And I think I might just do the same again. We are working through these chips a lot faster than... Ah, I think they're completely gone. Well, Andy. Okay. Well, we're not making any more chip sandwiches. <laughs> We can make some chocolate sandwiches, however, which is quite nice. And get some lard in there too, pump the calories up. There we go. We can have a chunk of that. Uh, do we need to? Not really. No. All right, ammo. Ammo is going to be the most important thing that we can find right now, I think. We're still pretty overweight, which is not good. We're still very cold. Might just try and burn that off for a sec. Get it done as quickly as possible. And then we need to go and get our cowboy hat back. That's kind of job number one, I think. Get the hat back. Get ourselves going. Get ourselves just back in action, really. Let's have a bit of the, the happy sandwich. Sort our happiness out as much as possible. And the wood glue repairs our garden fork like no other. 90%. That is outrageous. How well does it do that? 90% as well. Maintenance does repair is unreal. That's probably the best mod I could have added. That's ridiculous. Oh, I love every bit of that. All right, we need to go and sort ourselves out. We are a big problem right now. <laughs> big problem. Just underway, which is nice. I can hear a lot of Zeds as well, but I can't quite figure out where. This is not good, man. This is not good. We've kind of gone from like hero down to zero overnight this is outrageous but 
I, I guess I guess it's the joys of the dynamic traits mod. We're we're gonna run into these little stings sometimes. So I was kind of hoping throughout this entire thing we could well throughout the whole of winter whilst we're in this town we could get some skills done. But it looks like that is probably gonna be impossible. So we're we're not looking good. Not looking good at all. Is that another slap of knife? We probably don't need another one, do we? Do the antidepressants so. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we're not looking that good. Our head pain should clear up, though. Did just take a painkiller, so fingers crossed that gets out of here. I think that's the thing that's, like, killing us slowly. If we get heavy head pain, it's pretty much downhill from there. I think that's our withdrawals hitting their limit. Tired already as well. Brilliant. Yeah, this ain't good. This is not good at all. Hmm. Today's going to be a slow day, I think. We're going to have to head back. Nausea is setting in. We're getting heavier and heavier with pain. I think he just needs a day off. I think he just needs a day off. So he's kind of struggling quite a bit. It's not good. I think we've got to get back, get him well fed, and just relax for today. We're tired already. Problems are only going to start arising from here. So if we don't get out of just the mess and chaos that's about to follow... We're probably going to die, and I don't really want that. I reckon we just swing through here, grab whatever food we can, and head back. It's probably our only hope. Yeah, big calorie food like that, that's what we want. Anything to keep us happy as well. Chocolates would do. Soda? Helps our happiness. Uh, jerky, we can have that now. Can't go wrong with some jerky. Uh, jujubes, white chocolate... Again, anything that's pretty much going to fill us up and keep us going. Jelly beans packet. I don't know how many they hold, but kind of excited to find out. Anything back here. That's just mini hardware store. Fair enough. All right, let's roll out. Let's let's head back. Let's get a good night's sleep and start treating them well, I guess. Definitely deserves it. Too many beers has just wiped them out entirely. I've never actually had this before, and... I'm kind of scared to see what the future holds for it. Kind of scared to see how many Zeds are hiding around here too. Right, if we can get these just on big stabs, we'll be fine. Come on, fellas. Just one at a time. Come on. There we go. This. This is why spears are your friends. No matter the scenario. Do you know what I mean? That one stab has just saved my life a thousand times over. Ridiculous. All right, I'm going to spend the day here and just relax. I'll see you tomorrow morning. So we've been up since about 3 a.m., I think. It's been, been a rough night, to say the least. Uh, how did we have this once upon a time? We had a grease back, didn't we? I think the crew cut might be too short. I'm sure we've got some. Yeah, there we go. We've got some gel. We can get him back to his former glory. Uh, grease back. Much better. There we go. That's what he's been missing. I knew there was something. I just couldn't quite pin it down. There we go. We're now grease back. Lovely man. And we can get the goatee in there as well. Now he looks like a badass even without the hat. I can get on board with that all day long. What I kind of want to do is go back and get that hat. <laughs> the hat and what you call it have pretty much made this character just look as badass as he had from start to finish. The, uh, what were they? Aviators. If we can get those aviators back and we can get them looking ten times better than they ever was, be a damn good day. We got plenty of, ah, one stale sandwich. Yeah, we kind of want to get on top of that. If we can keep them well fed for a bit, should be fine. He's just, yeah, feeling pretty rough at the minute. Not looking too clever, to say the least. The nausea is taking them out more and more every day. But we're maybe seven days in now. Only four weeks to go. Nothing too crazy. Three weeks, sorry. We're doing, doing better than I give him credit for. Three weeks to go, and then we're smooth sailing. Brilliant. Tired already. That's the other big killer of this. Anytime we try and do anything, we're just getting absolutely battered in a heartbeat. We have been up for a little while, but... Not long enough to be tired already. I don't think so, anyway. 
But yeah, we're halfway through fitness, halfway through strength. If I can maybe get us up to the next level of fitness before we leave, I'll be happy. That was part of my plan whilst we were here, but alcoholic just took over, kind of ruined pretty much everything. Not ideal, not at all. Yeah, if we can just keep on top of it all, that's kind of all that matters really. Get them in good shape by the time March does come around, just so we're at least good to get on the road. Don't really want to spend another month here if we don't have to. This bit got busy. I have no idea why or where these sets have come from, but this place looks outrageous. I don't know what could have happened overnight, but it does not look too clever, I can tell you that much. This is going to be a struggle. Oh, fingers crossed it's got some wood glue or some duct tape. I'll literally take anything at this point. Anything that will get us out of a jam. Come on, fellas. Tell you what, we're looking good, though. Our stats are now just brilliant. There we go. Sleepy head is set in. And yeah, right back to being mis miserable. Classic. Do you have a gun on this hit? No, it does have a lighter though. Sleepy head. So very weird. Are we a sleepy head? I'm guessing it comes with being an alcoholic. Soft walker. Nice. Uh, alcoholic. Desensitized. Very nice. There's got to be a couple of Zeds in there somewhere. Maybe it just sort of comes and goes. No idea. Either way. Does not look too good. There's <laughs> definitely more negative traits than positive ones in there. I think half of the positive ones just come with skills. Yeah, we're not shaking that at all, are we? Nah. We're just going to have to deal with this for now. If we don't get in there quick, though, we're going to lose both of those items. They're just going to get trampled into the ground, and we're never going to be able to get them back. At least not from this point. We'll be able to get them from a Zed later at some point, but... today Feels a bit nicer when it's your own. Might just be me, me being a bit sentimental over things I don't need to be sentimental over, but... Something about it. <laughs> Yeah, way too attached to things that don't really matter, but it's all good fun. All good fun. It's the little things that get you by in this world, you know? Let's try again, shall we? Feels like they've just grown. Come on, lads. Uh, it's not too many outside, which is good. There we go. I think we're already halfway through this magazine. If not, pretty much all the way through this magazine. <laughs> Let's maybe just switch out to the garden fork to get upstairs with... It's a bit easier to push Zeds away with this. We have still got a full machete in the bag as well, which is good. What was in there? Yeah, just stuff we don't need, really. Stuff we're probably never going to need. Let's just have another vitamin. Get ourselves back on our feet a touch. I wouldn't mind checking that out, though. If we can find a level 5 carpentry book in there, that'd be a good day. I mean, it's already a good day. We're, we're smashing it so far. We've come in here a thousand times better than we left, which is, yeah, which is grand. Fingers crossed it is just straight in, straight out. Movie theatre is the biggest fear. All round. So if there's still a ton of Zeds at the top of those stairs, we're pretty much screwed before we even get in. Um, so literally did a zero good last time, but hang on. Oh, thank God for that. Thought I left all the magazines behind. Imagine. <laughs> all this way just to get wiped out because we didn't have any ammo. This could go very bad. There's one. Some cam peas. We'll absolutely take those. Oh, and sardines. Christ, these guys came packing. Got some foodies around here. Can tuna. Peanuts. A Louisville map. Should really read it, but... 
chances of us actually making it to Louisville are quite slim, and we're bound to find like a thousand maps along the way. Oh, has it already gone? Going to take that comb. Yeah, I think they've trampled our gear already. Oh, that's so very sad. Oh, well. It is what it is, I suppose. At least it still looks badass. At least we didn't lose anything too valuable. I think we've got some aviators at home. So, kind of a little perk. The rest still kind of sucks, but... Crust. Just like that, we're back in a rut. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks, game. Let's just pop another painkiller and get ourselves out of it. There is a clothes store as well. We could always check that. Where did you even come from? Get out of here. Just gonna try and grab whatever we left behind in here as well. Is that some cabbage seeds? No. Other seeds. I will take those two. May as well, there's no harm as a uh, hand axe. You are a beauty. Did already grab the splitting axe from the first one. Just before I get a thousand comments in, I left it behind. <laughs> No, no, how keen eyed you guys are. I don't know how much of a nightmare I am, so I do get it. it does make sense. Let's favourite that before we lose another one. Don't know what happened to the little one, but it's not there anymore. Might just take that just in case. Tire repair kit, that'd be good for the road. Proper flashlight, emergency flashlight. Tempting. Oh, and a tool belt. So I didn't use these for a very long time because I was always pretty reluctant to take them. I didn't think that you could put the same amount of gear in them as you could in a normal one. So I left it behind. Completely forgot about them. Just, yeah, gone in the wind. Turns out they're probably the most valuable things that you could pick up and use. They have an insane amount of carry capacity compared to the fanny pack, which is grand. Especially with organized because you get that little extra bonus. Oh, I might just take that bleach as well. And uh, you can take cordless drills and things like that in them, which is just unreal because they are probably the best weapon in the modded world. Cannot fault them at all. If you can get one of those on your belt, do it and make the most of it because it will change your life. Not even kidding. They are just simply ridiculous, to put it lightly. All right, can we find... Any sort of hat. I mean, preferably a cowboy hat and preferably some aviators, but if neither of those are available, then we may have to make do with something else. I'll just rest up on that bench over there too. Sleepy head kind of kicked us again. We kind of need to get out of here quickly. So we're tired, we're depressed, we're everything we don't want to be. That'll do though. That's a nice find. Dancing? Volume 1, do you reckon that's worth taking? Probably. Hunting guard for beginners, also very handy. Tailor and 2, we kind of need Tailor and 3. Cooking, I feel like we've got a home. Another passport backpack. But yeah, we should really look at getting out of here rather than doing this, but we're here now. Kind of feels like a no brainer. The rest of it's just clothing. Very strange. Gives me, a, gives me an easy out though, which is nice. Let's get out of here. I reckon we just head back to our little forward base and call it a day. It's probably a good time to do it. Ah, uh, okay. So sometimes th these do just randomly kick in. What's that? This looks beach music. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, sometimes Sleepyhead and Restless Sleeper just decide to kick in. I think it's when we get sad. Yeah, that clears up Restless Sleeper. And then I'm assuming... The further we go with that, the better it gets, if that makes sense. Either way, we need some sleep pretty desperately. And then, yeah, that ties in with stress, and the rest of it is just a downward spiral. This is tough, man. This is really tough. Fun, but tough. Can we? We can. Hey, nice. Ex exuding bliss. This fragrance infused me with a good dose of optimism. We're going to wear that every single day. Good night. Okay, first things first, we need painkillers and maybe some cologne. Let's give them a little spruce up. 
just makes them so much happier. That's way easier. Uh, and food. We were kind of almost dying in the night. We kept getting sick. We kept getting heavy head pain. We kept just going from hero to zero, back up to hero, and repeating that cycle consistently. Not ideal. But, yeah, today we're looking okay. We're looking a bit better. We're a bit... Well, we're feeling well rested. We're smelling good, which is kind of crucial to just keeping them alive. And, yeah, things are looking pretty good. I've also been told to take a plunger, so I'm finally going to do that. And I will grab that bar of soap, and let's just gussy up a bit. I think the better we take care of them as a whole, the better we're going to do to just keep them alive. And, yeah, I could very, very much do with all of that, really. He's actually doing okay. For a change. <laughs> Not something I thought I'd say anytime soon. I thought we'd be at just rock bottom for the longest time. But we seem to be slightly better today. And we did get that book as well, didn't we? I reckon we read that quick. Lovely. We are back in action. Now that we're pretty much done in the mall, I wouldn't mind just getting in there and seeing if we can rip up all of these clothes because there's a stupid amount of them. I don't know how many Zeds are going to come spiraling down with them, but I guess there's one way to find out. We have already played a very risky game on the stairs in here, but do you reckon we can hold out? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, can we take all of the gum that's in there? Oh, there's a cowboy hat. It's not a black one. I wonder if the brown one would still look badass. Does the job. I wonder if there's any aviators. Reading glasses. Uh, some bonbons and some gum. And some mint candy. Beta blockers we don't actually need anymore. Let's just come back up from the bottom. Some magazines. Yeah, I reckon all of this we take. Leave the beers behind for good reason. Reasons I don't want to talk about anymore. <laughs> Bad enough. He is a broken man. Broken man in need of a lot of help and a lot of change. Still though, let's try and break down whatever we can. This could kind of be a life and death situation here. Um, craft all nine. 155 and 29. Well, let's start with those, shall we? I've been in big fear the whole time we've been doing this. I do also need some uh, painkillers. Oh, I also found a hot dog in a bin, if you're wondering where that came from. Don't know why it was just fresh in there, but, I mean, if it works, it works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I've been playing this game for May just under 2,000 hours, I think. And I've never felt like my game was going to crash and just burn before. But this, this is the closest I've ever been. And it is terrifying. I have backed up the save just, just in case. I feel like this run being as heavily modded as it is, needed as many backups as possible. But this, <laughs> this is wild. We're 50 sheets down and I've been here for like three minutes. Ridiculous. I reckon we've got another six minutes to go. Well, it wasn't quite six minutes, but we are coming to the last one. I can hear a Zed close by. We're heavily overweight, but we're looking pretty good. How many do you reckon we got? A stupid amount. Or oh, 90, 130 denim sheets. Ridiculous. And 500 rags. That is outrageous. But also so very good. That's unreal. I think we're going to head back and just get them all unraveled. See what, see what we can come up with. <laughs> that is disgusting. That's a stupid amount of gear. I'm so happy with that. So we can still get all the patches fitted on as well, which is nice. Can I get any leather ones out of you? No, of course not. Apparently I missed an axe in there as well. Don't know where you were hiding, but I'm so glad I came back for it. Just thought I'd have a little check on the way in, and yeah, got very, very lucky. Didn't quite see the 35 lots of string or the 166 bits of thread that we got. That's pretty unreal. I'm going to unravel all of these as well, I think. 303. So we are... We're feeling pretty rough, to be fair. It's not looking good. Our head pain's cleared, which is good. We're still a bit sick. Okay, we're getting better. 
It's the important thing. I reckon we just got to get through today. And then tomorrow. And then the next day. <laughs> this is just a very painful downhill cycle. Oh, I really don't like it. I kind of just want a beer. Do you know what I mean? That's all it would take. And it would fix, fix all of our problems. I mean, it would make a very long-term problem. But at least we'd be able to get a good night's sleep just safely. This sucks. Plus side though, we've now got like five spools of thread. Uh, make thread, there we go. Yeah, four. Four and almost five. We've got quite a few in the bag there as well. That's not bad going. That's a pretty good start to the day. Let's get those empty tin cans out. We've had our, what do you call it? Um, morning painkiller. Morning antidepressant, I guess, would probably be quite good. It's just, just a mess at the minute. It's not nice. Almost feel a bit bad. Thought that'd clear up more of that, but did absolutely nothing for us. Let's help the happiness touch. Let's have a little bit more food. Maybe just a little bit more food. He is a bit of a chonker today. Let's give ourselves a little spray. Help a tiny bit with the happiness. The tiniest bit in the world. Let's go see what we can do. Fingers crossed we can clear up that boredom. I think that's that's kind of our biggest killer at the minute. Being desensitised is tough as well. You can't just go outside and clear stuff. It takes a bit of time. It takes a bit of work. Not good. Not good at all. Kind of had the idea of just heading through these as well. It's the uh, buildings just next to the insurance place. Kind of hoping we find more um, offices just so we could get more gear. But, yeah, we've actually kind of struck some luck here. Let me give him a pep talk. Is this actually going to help anything? Oh, it did. Slightly. That's good. That's better. Um, we can only relieve our bladder on the ground. We're still right next to the toilet. But just doesn't want to play ball for some reason. Oh, well. There we go. We gussy him up as well just to make him feel better. Literally everything I can do at the moment just to make him a bit happier is a win. That's kind of the most important thing I'm taking from all of this. It's been a very, like, kind of just sad episode. It's been a lot of just looking after him. Really getting into the uh, into the Sims vibes, I guess. His happiness and his health and safety are probably the most important things in the world at the minute. And they're kind of taking their toll. Very, very quickly, too. So far, this place has been a bit of a blessing on the uh, carpentry th front, though. Every one of these rooms has had a double bed in, which is just dreamy. Double bed. Ooh, this one's got even better. We've got an SKS and a gun case with nothing in there. Sound. Uh, do we have improvised iron sights? No magazine. Ah, I think you sort of feed them through as you go, don't you? Or do you? Not sure. <laughs> Either way, we got that in there. That's that's quite good to know. Quite good to keep in mind. Take some chili and tomato. Yeah, it's been been a pretty cruisy day to be fair. Could have been a lot worse anyway. So I think I think we make it to the top. Rest on the top floor. Figure our way out from there. So I haven't really uh, haven't really put a lot of thought into a lot of things there. It's just been carpentry, health, and wealth. But we're getting there slowly but surely. We are pushing level 7 for the carpentry skill now, which is good. I've only been doing big stuff as well. Big stuff and loot and bathrooms, because bathrooms tend to be the biggest game changer in the game. Toothpaste? Might come in handy somewhere. Brush our teeth, maybe. But yeah, we're, uh, we're holding on. Hanging on by a thread. <laughs> Every day is getting harder and harder. But yeah, I mean, it's life, isn't it? If you're going to do stupid things and get yourself an addiction in the apocalypse, you kind of got to deal with the consequences without anyone to sort of pull you out of a rut. You go in cold turkey and go in solo, and it ain't fun, to put it lightly. But, yeah, I mean, we're, we're sort of making do. Keeping them moving as much as we can and just burning through stuff where we can. If we can keep that restless sleeper down as well, that would be lovely. But, 
yeah, the more depressed we get and the more it's just racking up and the worse we are looking. But that's okay. It's, yeah, I mean, it is what it is at this point. I think this is the last floor as well. Let's have a quick peek around here. Yeah, this is the one. Guess we're sleeping in this room then. I reckon we just get cozy, get safe and relax. We don't need to take out all the beds tonight. We can we can worry about the rest of the morning. A couple bars of soap. They're absolutely going to be handy. Thank you very much. Wash. Wash our socks. They're pretty dirty. Might do us some good. So I've come to the conclusion that food and just things to keep you happy is probably the biggest lifesaver with alcoholic it will kill you otherwise we've woken up with cold sweats quite a few nights now last night was probably the closest i've been to death i did record it all but we ended up surviving so it's kind of just me sat in the dark just feeding him <laughs> basically and yeah it got pretty tight for a second there but we're good we're looking good we're feeling good we're back in pain which is not good but overall we're alive and that is the important thing. Sadly, though, we are going to have to call it a day and we're going to finish the day off with a nice morning dump. I think he's I think he's earned it. He definitely deserves it. It's been, been a mission. A very, very tough mission. And there's still a long way to go. I'm not really looking forward to it. Not at all. I don't remember taking a belt off. Hmm. Strange. Ah, yeah, got ya. Oh, got ya. We've traded it for the tool belt, haven't we? Maybe? I don't know. No idea. <laughs> Either way, I think I'm going to love you and leave you in the comfort of our nice little high rise. We're going to be out of here by next episode, but yeah, we'll see how we go. I'm not too sure where to go next or what to do next, but a Gigamart is still on the cards to find. Maybe that's what we do next episode, but for now, I'm going to love you and leave you right here. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks to members supporting the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.